Hey, it's Steve. Well, I haven't had an update on the one by six foot HO scale switching layout in a few weeks. So I wanna kind of give you a quick update and show you what is new with the layout. So up here in the front, I have gone ahead and added some crossing signs and did get some guardrails attached here to either side of the road as it crosses the drainage ditch here in the front. And then in the back here, I added some dumpsters as well as some trash bags and busted up palace to kind of add some extra detail to that area. And then up front here, I did go ahead and finish carving out the rest of the drainage ditch. Um, did get a culvert uh, put in the front end there. And then in the back here, what I did was actually used an end scale tunnel portal. Okay, so you can see, so you can see what the tunnel portal area looks like. Um, I basically wanted the water to go somewhere and just not end directly into the board. So I went ahead and painted that area black and then put the tunnel portal in front of it. So it kind of makes it look like there's maybe some type of a bridge or something in the front in the foreground that you're not seeing. And so you don't see the water just kind of, you know, end at a wood wall essentially. So I went ahead and did that. And then in the front here did a slight drainage channel. So as it comes from that far end of the layout, uh, there's basically sort of a natural flow for the water to go down uh, towards the main drainage ditch area. And I'm not actually gonna put any water in there at all. Um, that'll just be grass and dirt and stuff like that, but it'll kind of at least give the indication that that's where water would flow if there was any. And then here in the steeper part of the actual drainage ditch, uh, there will be some standing water and weeds and things like that um, to kind of uh, fill out that area. And I will have a few trees up here in front as well. I'll try to make some uh, pretty highly detailed trees since I'm only going to have a few of them. Um, you know, there's not really a whole lot of space for trees, so I do want to go ahead and make the ones I do have look as good as I can do. So uh, that'll be an upcoming project you'll see here in the coming weeks as I work on those. And then otherwise, it'll just be a matter of finishing out the scenery here. This is all sculpt mold and it's not quite dry yet, so there's different shades of color there. Um, I mixed in some brown paints with the sculpt mold so it wasn't a pure white color, um, but uh, the areas that are darker or the drier areas and the areas that are still more whitish looking, um, those are the areas that are still a little bit damp. So I have to kind of wait, uh, wait a while. It's very humid, still hot and humid here in Oklahoma. And so the drying time has been fairly slow uh, as a result of the high humidity levels. Now another big project has been getting this third main structure here finished up. Um, still a ways to go on it, but uh, as you can tell, I do have the lights above the loading bays in place. I do have the roof on. Basically, I'm not going to show how I did that, but it's identical to the structure over here. Um, you know, everything was built exactly the same way, so I'm not going to show that same process again. Um, I still have to add the gravel on top uh, of the roof there, maybe a few more roof details as well. Um, but otherwise, it's mostly wrapped up. It's not installed or anything yet. It's just sort of sitting here. I have the wires in there that I have to still connect up together and, and get all that soldered and, and connected. I'm still going to have a little bit of a gap here in the corner after everything is glued in place. I might be able to get it pretty tight, but I think I'll probably have to still put a drain pipe or something in there to kind of help cover that, that uh, joint up there in the corner. I decided I'm going to go ahead and do a taller kind of uh, structure here on the end of the layout, um, basically like a two-story warehouse type of building, so maybe or maybe like a manufacturing type of a segment of this main structure here or something like that but basically to have something you know at the end of the layout other than just like a, a wall there I'm going to do, you know do some extra work on there besides just having it uh, plain as well so um, I'll put a board there have it painted um, and then have this structure kind of flat in front of it as well so there's kind of something there to look at uh, that's going to be one of the next steps so once I get this other structure done here of course at the end I'll have to do all the ballasting as well so that'll be another project coming up uh, later on down the road too. Now you can see here, there is a forklift. It's kind of hard to see here. I'll do a couple, show you a couple of photos here in a second. But I do have a forklift and some uh, crates there being hauled along inside that opening. And here's a couple shots of the interior where I did. I didn't do a whole lot of detail, but I did add some detail. So if you look in there, you actually are gonna see something. And of course I will eventually put a light in there as well. So it's lit up, you know, at night and you can kind of see the activity going on inside there of that loading bay. Um, when everything else is, is lit up as well. But in general, I'm not going to have this, you know, probably operating at night that often, but um, I am going to go ahead and have uh, some interior lights for those areas there. But anyway, that's just a quick update of the one by six foot HO scale switching layout. Um, a lot of different progress in little areas here and there. Um, so still a long way to go. Uh, maybe I can get this thing wrapped up by the end of the year. We'll see how, how things go. But anyway, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye.